hey guys, since Cade kind of messed up, aka me, messing with the settings, and then he never turned them back, that's why the podcast sounds like it's coming from a cathedral. Enjoy. I'm sorry. Guys, welcome back to uh, the coronavirus. If you know what I'm talking about. What a, what a time to be alive. I'm going to update you. We're going to be, we're going to be, hold on, let me get it ready. We're going to be uh, this word. I can't say it for some reason. I think I have a speech impediment, but. Social distancing. That's what we're going to be doing on this podcast, and I hope, you, I hope you're doing that at home. And let's get through it. Let's get straight through it. So. Okay, guys, welcome back. Social distancing. No, you didn't say it when I told you. Okay, guys, welcome back. Social distancing. To. Social distancing. Thank you, Siri. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a bunch of different uh, things. Actually, not necessarily because it's all going to be about the coronavirus. The coronavirus has been taking our world by storm, our news, our media, everything. There are now memes about it, I think, still. I don't really know. Um, TikTok has a lot of stuff about it. Uh, <laughs> and so does the news. If I sound a little stuffed up, I am. Okay? Sue me, dude. Don't even try because I don't have it. But if you want to think I have it, then go for it. I'll be down in history, okay? Now listen, I'm currently in Idaho. I'm currently in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And uh, I came here after Arizona. Uh, and I needed to do some, you know, I really need to get this, need to do some. Social distancing. So I decided to stay home with the fam bam. And um, it's been good so far. There's a lot of things going on in the world right now. Um, Idaho and Washington itself, uh, I should have pulled this up before, but enacted a 21-day period of quarantine staying in your houses unless it's for necessities, which, you know, obviously, I think there's a lot of states out there that are doing that right now. Uh, I'm, I know for a fact, I think New York, California, whatever. But they started this, I think it was approximately like five days ago or a week ago. Last Monday, and it is currently. I'm I'm currently recording this on Tuesday, uh, the the thirty first. So you know, right before. Social distancing. No, you're supposed to say April Fools. She doesn't really understand my jokes. So, anyways, that's kind of what's going on here. Oh boy, um, we have so many people um, upset at the coronavirus, and to be honest, it's affecting the people. Um, not only people that are, I mean, it's affecting everyone, all ages. It doesn't matter, all ages. Uh, the old, you know, they are, they are more prone to getting it, and when they do get it, uh, they can die. I mean, I think anyone can kind of die, but I think um, our age or our generation, um, that being 19, uh, I think we just, what? I think we, that was a dryer, if you, if you didn't, if you didn't hear the noise, it was a dryer, <laughs> anyways, I think we're more, like, susceptible, I think is the right word, um, to not, like, getting it, or, or being okay if we do get it, it's a very contagious virus, and I think the reason that the media is and everything is hyping this up, now, you know, I, I'm no fact checker, I don't check facts, I literally could have pulled up, I could have had time, but I didn't, and, uh, basically, my point is, is that, you know, everyone is gonna, I, I the, everyone's hyping it up because we do not have a we do not have a vaccine for it, but in my opinion, I don't think the coronavirus itself is not going to disappear. I think it's just like the flu. I think it's you know we it is dangerous right now, and I'm not saying that every all the symptoms and everything like that and 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 how it interacts with people is the flu. I'm saying that it is like the flu that the flu is here it is a seasonal thing and I think if this coronavirus kind of dies down after flu season, which I believe is coming, which is spring, then boom, okay? Boom. You know, it's pr- it's probably going to be a seasonal thing. I mean, if you think about it, this thing has been taking over the world for the past I mean, that's why it's called a pandemic. The definition of a pandemic is affecting people all, all around the world. That's literally why it's called a pandemic. And I think the thing is, too, is um, I don't know if flu goes down the category of a pandemic, but, I mean, it should, I think, because it pretty much is. Um, 
And so I think that's a lot of the arguments. You know, I feel for the people that say you need to stay inside, you need to do your job, and you shouldn't be out and stuff like that. And I also feel for the side of us, um, meaning like my generation or kind of like the younger people not really caring. And I think that's because, now I'm not going to explain this for everybody, but I think that's because, uh, you know, we are not going to die if we get it necessarily. Um, people with underlying health conditions, people with um, different stuff like that, it, it is very serious to them, and that's why the older and the younger people are getting affected by it. But that is with everything. That is with the flu. I mean, it kills people that are like that are really acceptable with underlying health conditions and all the stuff like that. So there's a whole like kind of wave you got to ride when you're doing this, and I don't want to bore you with this too much. However, um, the main topic I want to talk about this coronavirus is how is it how it is affecting um, people. I mean, dude, scythe. Scythe. <laughs> self isolation. My God, what a time to be alive, huh? We are literally living in history right now. I mean, this thing is. I, I've never seen anything like this. And I don't think anyone else has seen anything like this. I've been talking to my dad about that. And he's just, you know, he's 50 some years old and he hasn't seen anything like this either. I mean, this goes back all the way to the plague kind of deal, except it's not killing as much people, which is good. It's very good. Um, but my main topic here I want to talk about is, is our generation and the generation below us right now, people that are seniors right now, listen up to this message. Okay, I I do have, I have no idea um, what that would be like. I mean, my sister, she's in college. Her classes all got canceled, and now is everything is strictly online. And I'm sure the people watching this, you guys can agree and you can can attest like that. Now people are working from home. You know, this being like that, and in even high school, in elementary, in kindergarten, all these different classes. You know, my mom's is friends with this with this teacher that's in, um, she's teaching like first grade, stuff like that. I mean, they made packets, you know, but here's, here's a couple things to think about that I've seen over this whole fluctuation of time is that no one, not every, sorry, no one, not, not no one, not everyone has the capabilities of um, being online. You know, lucky for me, it is my life. I love it, okay? So I buy this stuff. But not everybody has that time that or that money necessarily to to get those things and for their children. And the schools, they might not have all the money to fund, to pour into a fund, to give that to other people. So that being said, it's just like, you know, I know first grade, you know, they're giving them packets, you know, and they're going to send home packets, but are they not going to go back to school? And I think that that stuff is still up in the air right now, but that is like crazy to me. I mean, this time last year was spring break for me. And my cousin, Makai, actually, and I'm going to show you a video in a little bit. He literally, his mom told me this. They were sitting at home and he's like, spring, she told him spring break is coming up. And he's like, we're not in spring break yet. Doesn't even know because of the fact that that we are all still at home for all of this. So not only is school being affected, but so are our lives and so is work. And now only people that are essential are going to work and actually going out. Um, I don't know what classifies as essential and non-essential. However, I do know... Um, like a news station, for example, they do classify as essential some people. Um, and I know for a fact that non-essential would be a grocery. <sighs> Actually, grocery stores are pretty essential. <laughs> um, I'm thinking more of like a restaurant. Like my friend's dad, his bar got shut down. You know, And this is just crazy. So now people are working from home if they can. You know, they have that luxury of this. But, but, but listen to this future idea, okay? Now, I'm not saying we're moving towards this, but this has been a very long time. This has affected a lot of people. And, you know, drop a comment if you think, if, if something else that's been affected, you know, and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll try to get back to you on that and stuff like that. But, like, this is crazy because my thing is, is this, is this the start? Is this the start? 
of something newer and bigger of people working at home, people online, social media. You know what I mean? People are on it every day now. Like if, like if you post something, I'm guaranteed that your likes, your comments, your, all your views, everything will be up because of the fact of how many people are at home and have time on their hands now. Absolutely amazing. And, you know, there's a lot of things that are good out there right now. There's a whole ton of things. John Krasinski, I don't know if I pronounce his last name right now, but he is um, doing this, this, this show, I think, out of his house. And, it, and, he's, and he's highlighting everything that is good for um, that, that's going on in the world right now. Because not everything is bad. And I think that's the problem with some media and stuff like that that you follow is that it's only showing you all of that. You know, so that being said, all we're doing here, guys, is social distancing. And that is fun. You know, you get to be home with your family and, and you have to almost look at it like a light because you might not even be able to have this time again with your family. I mean, I know that sounds stupid, but like think about it as a plus thing. I know it's very hard because they're stuck together. But go for a walk. You can still do that. That's not off limits, I think. And then, um, you know, you gotta. It depends on everything in your life. But that's basically it. Let's watch this video um, of my cousin. He's talking and he's talking about how it's affected his senior year. Um, through, I mean, prom was being canceled. Uh, this, that, all that kind of stuff. And I remember in my high school, I had to do senior presentations. And you know what? That might be canceled for them too. And actually, you know what? I think it is because I talked to him the other day and I think it's canceled. But let's, let's, let's watch this video together and, you know, let me know what you think afterwards. Um, currently, I just feel more bummed than anything because it's one of those things where it's like my, it's my senior year. I've been working really hard to get to this. I've been, I've been waiting for my senior year for baseball and it's kind of just gone down the drain just a little bit. I mean, I'm hoping that uh, I'm able to finish out my senior year season or just finish out my senior year in general without having to have to graduate early or anything. Yeah. That describes everything. I mean, in a way, think about that. Like, he's been working so hard. His whole three years and part of his half of of that year, of the semester, to, to, to be really, you know, for baseball, for um, classes, you know, for work. It's just, it's just amazing. And it's like to have all of that. And you know what? People grades are actually dropping. There are statistics about that. Uh, and, and even Harvard, I think my sister told me this. So if, if, it, if I'm wrong, you know, chew her butt out about it. But, but Harvard actually did their classes to pass the fail. Harvard. Like, so you tell me that this isn't affecting people greatly. And I'm not saying that it's the coronavirus that, that like, well, no, I am saying it's the coronavirus that's causing all this. I'm not saying that, that um, it's not good and you shouldn't stay inside. I'm saying that I'm just giving you guys the facts that I have and everything that I'm talking about. Um, I'm just flabbergasted, though. Look at that word, huh? Flabbergasted. Try to spell that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, d I don't even know. It's just it's just so crazy to me, though. I mean, cause could you imagine working so hard on certain things and then you you can't even you can't even do anything anymore? Like you can, but you're stuck inside. And I mean, Makai just proves a really good point. It's just you know he pro I, he told me that he's on the news or the media or something like that. So that's what that clip was from. Uh, and thank you, Makai, for letting me use that. But, yeah, I don't, it, oh my god, dude. I don't know, I just feel for all you guys, sen for all your seniors out there. I mean, I thought he was going to talk about prom, but, yeah, so, like, prom may be canceled. Uh, you won't have senior presentations. Uh, and then, on top of that, like, the, like, senior after party, just going to school and seeing those friends. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I had friends in high school I don't, okay, I had, I mean, yes, I did have friends in high school, but I meant, like, I had acquaintances, too, that I saw, um, like, 
that I saw in the classroom and pretty much only in the classroom. So I think, I think a lot of you guys have people like that out there right now, and it just sucks that you won't be able to see them. Now, there is a couple things that are going good right now, and that's like Zoom. You know, you can Zoom people. You can FaceTime people. Um, and luckily, that's a whole, like, another area. But, yeah, I don't know. I know it's hard to focus on the positives in this whole pandemic thing and through negative and stuff like that. But let me tell you what um, I think as a – I think as a – now I sound patriotic, but I was going to say I think as a country, like, we're going to come out of this way stronger than we did. Um and as a whole planet, actually, matter of fact, because it's it's the world we're talking about. It's a pandemic. Um, so, yeah, you know, I'm not going to get into the whole Trump thing because that's I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I don't care about politics right now. Uh, yeah, dude. Um, on a different note, we're going to turn a little wait, 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 wait. turn a little dial here. Um, this is the 10th episode of Timeless Tuesday. Um, guys, it's been a real, um, I know I've slacked a lot, however, uh, so going forward, there's going to be no Timeless Tuesday, I'm just going to make the podcast, and it's gonna, just going to be called Timeless, it may or may not change, I'm doing my own stuff, figuring it out, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, I hope you keep it real, um, and I really hope... You guys, self 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 self. Oh my God, I can't talk. Self quarantine, and uh, everyone, just make sure you you're keeping up on the social distancing. Thank you, Siri. That heart, that word. You don't even want to hear me say it because it's it's so hard for me to say it. It's like I it's like I can't pronounce it. Anyways, everyone, let's just uh, stay positive. Okay, drop a like on this video if you learned something new today. And if you didn't, drop a like on it because we're in a pandemic era right now. So anything goes. So why would you not like it? Drop a comment if you guys have any um, feedback. <laughs> and then uh, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. I don't think my Snapchat. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever's down there. You, you guys know. You guys know. Uh, and we'll, we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. I mean, this is kind of the closing out episode. But I really wanted to do this pandemic thing. And I think there's... I think I launched enough of uh, information at you in 17 minutes. So you guys are good. I will uh, talk to you guys later and uh, just keep social distancing. You know what I mean? Good. Good. Thank you, guys. Um, And as always, kiss your mother for me. And now that you guys are inside, make sure you hit those elbows or fist bump. No shaking hands. Oh, wash your hands for 20 seconds. Really does good. I saw this TikTok where this guy's washing his hands, but he showed you how to do it. He put gloves on, and then he showed you how to do it with paint. And then you, you go like this, and then you do your thumbs, and then you and then you go like this, and you wash this part. So just take away, you know. And honestly, if you want to learn anything about COVID nineteen, go on TikTok. <laughs> no, I don't advise that, but it. I mean, it does kind of show you what to do. So hope you guys like it, and we'll see you uh next podcast that will probably just be called timeless and as you guys can see probably this one doesn't have an episode or a season on it because i kind of dropped that off uh because i just kind of know so why don't you guys just keep social distancing i'm sorry i had to use it again one more time all right uh bye love you guys stay safe Okay, ready? Ready? You guys don't want me to say it, but you kind of do. Social distancing. Whoa, what? Holy, wait, what? I think it's because like they kept playing, but it was normally social distancing. Distancing. Social, social distancing. Whoa, I can kind of say it now because it's been playing back in my mind. Anyways, I'm sorry. I thought that was going to be like a good like one-liner that you guys are going to be like. <laughs> <laughs>